Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at five mistakes that you might be making that you won't see the professional players making. So if you can cut these mistakes out, then this is definitely going to improve your game. Okay, so mistake number one that we often see is players having their bridge hand too close to the cue ball. So you'll see players that are playing in the club and they have their hand very close to the cue ball like this. This makes it very difficult when their hand is that close to the cue ball to do a full cue action. And what do we mean by a full cue action? Well, that means that we want to be able to pull the cue all the way back and then push the cue all the way forwards. On a shot where we require a little bit more power, if our hand is far too close to the cue ball, it makes it very difficult for us to generate any spin and any speed with our cue action. So a couple of examples here. If I was to have my action too close to the ball, I can't pull my cue back very far and it's very difficult for me to generate the speed that I want with my cue so that I can get the screw back on the white ball there. If I was to play another shot and just lengthen my bridge, like you'll see the professional players doing, so I've got much more length now from my hand to the tip at the cue ball, I can pull all the way back and generate lots of extra speed when I need to. So that's the first mistake. Make sure that your hand isn't too close to the cue ball. Now, the second common mistake that we see players making is that their cue actions are just too fast. So what do we mean by too fast? Well, if we look at the professional players, they've all got nicely controlled cue actions. So that after they do their feathers, their backswing is nice and controlled, and then the follow through is nice and controlled. So if I was to have a look at this pink, which is quite difficult to the middle, you'll see it's quite common for players to do their feathers and then their cue action be very quick making it very difficult for us to control the cue effectively and get it to deliver in a nice straight line. So what the professionals players are doing instead is they've got that same shot there. What they're trying to do is really control that cue action. So they're feathering up to the white wall and then they come back nice and smooth and then forward nice and smooth. When we do it that way, we've just got much more control over the cue. So the third common mistake we see is that players don't approach the shot in a consistent way each time. So they don't stand behind the shot and walk into the shot in a very consistent and uniform way on every shot. So what we'll see that's very common is that players will get a chance in the balls like this. They might pop their opening red. So they pop the opening red and then they walk straight round to try and pop the black without standing behind the shot and just get straight down to it making it much more likely that we haven't quite got down on the correct line. So what the professional players are doing instead is they're making sure that they have a disciplined approach to each shot. So they're standing behind the line of the shot, walking into the shot, play the shot, keep nice and still. And then when they go around to play the next shot, they stand behind the shot, chalk their cue, pick the line that they think walk into the shot properly and execute the next shot. So the fourth common mistake that we see is players gripping the cue at the back far too tightly. So they have a lot of tension in this grip hand. The only way we can have all this tension is by using the muscles in our forearm to grip with our hand very tightly around the cue. And that's not what we want. We want to try and be as relaxed as we possibly can. So if I've got the red and I was trying to play this red and screw up the table, you'll see players where they're gripping the cue far too tightly with their back hand. It makes it very difficult to control the cue, let the cue be as loose as we would like it to be. So again, what the professional players are doing when they play these shots is they're trying to keep their grip hand nice and relaxed. So if I've got that same shot, this time I'm going to try and keep my grip a bit more relaxed. So not too much tension on the grip hand. Try and minimise it. And that time I got lovely action on the cue ball without having to tighten my grip around the cue too tightly, which can easily push the cue offline. Okay, so common mistake number five is that players are going to hit the ball too hard. So I think it's very common when we're playing snooker that we're playing on a 12 by 6 foot table. It's a big table and we think we've got to hit the balls very hard. But actually the professional players are always hitting the balls a lot softer than us. So on this shot here, I'm going to try and pop this blue into the top corner. And what you'll see a lot is that players will just hit these shots too hard. So I'll try to pop the blue. And then you'll see lots of movement. The balls are running around the table 
I'll just hit that shot far too hard. Put the colours back on their spots a second. So if I was on this blue this time, and I wanted to stop position for that red, I can hit the ball far softer. So nice and smooth. Hit the ball far softer. I've got the same reaction on the white, but when I hit it softer, I've got much more control. I'm not having to deliver my arm too fast, which means I can much more effectively deliver this cue in a straight line. So, something a bit different in this video today. If you enjoyed this style of video, then please let me know in the comments section below, and then I can make more videos in this style exactly like this one. If anyone's interested in any personal coaching sessions, I also do those all the time with players on the table. So have a look at my website, www.bartonsnooker.co.uk. Please remember to give the video a like, and if you're enjoying the content that I put up, then please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell notification as well, so you'll get notified anytime that I upload a video. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.